So I was so happy with the news that I stopped by Pat Smart and picked up a few beautiful koi to add to my pond. So this is a celebrate, baby. <laughs> We're gonna add these. Uh... So I'm always looking for different types of koi that I don't have yet. So I got a, quite a few now. I got about, I have about 10. This, this, this will be 10. Let me dump this, uh, these fish in here for about 15 or 20 minutes. We'll come back and release those fish in about 15, 20 minutes. Let them get uh, the water to uh, get to the same temperature as the pond. So, all right. So, good morning, everybody. We're going to go put the boots on. And we're gonna go harvest some um, buttercup squash. And I think I'm gonna harvest some blackberries today as well. I wanted to show you guys something with the blueberry cherry tomatoes, right? As you can see, right? On top there, you got, they got that blue tint to them and they're working on down, right? And same tomatoes, right? As you can see over here, they're changing color a bit right with a more reddish tone over there this one's still a little on the purple side coming on down some ones that been on there a little longer right as you can see here some uh bluish purple then over here orange purple and over there we have some that are totally red now and as you work the way down so you can see those are totally reddish orange right so these blue berry uh tomatoes cherry tomatoes are something something to admire with them growing and changing those colors so so attractive We're gonna be harvesting some buttercup squash today. And we're gonna get some blackberries off of this uh, vines over there. That uh, area that I uh, covered up so the birds wouldn't eat them all. But I do have to get these buttercup squash off these vines and get these vines taken down there because I have to, uh, I need the space to plant some more stuff because the summer's still long. So we want to make sure that we get some more plants in the ground that are uh, going to be robust and ready to grow and produce. So let's get these um, buttercup squash off the vines. All right, let's put this here. All right. So, all right, so these are some nice buttercup squash, and I know they're ready, because uh, they, you know, they take like 80 to 100 days, and they're well into the um, 88 days, something like that. And I've done a few tests on them. They're nice and dark green, and that's how you want them. And I'm gonna let these now just sit and rest for a while there, because they store well. I'm not gonna eat these all right away, so, um, they're, they're a good, they're a good, um, you know, uh, crop to grow. So, all right, so this is one. Probably take up my whole basket. Cause I do wanna, I do wanna, you know, I couldn't have left these on the vine for longer, but I do want to harvest them because I want to grow some more stuff. And, uh, you know, these vines are big. They take up the whole area and they, you know they're all set you know what i mean they, they they're they're ready to be harvested so
So. This one right here might be the biggest one of them all. Ah, look at that one right there. Huge, huh? Mm-hmm. Nice, dark, solid green. Nice and firm. That's how you want to harvest them. Another baby right here. Sweet. Buttercup squash did really, really well. Nothing, all of them, no blemishes. They're all looking fantastic. There's another one. Decent size. This is the smallest one of of them all and it's still a nice nice one i think i have one more around here somewhere oh, shit. Okay. so all oh, cute good looking So we have a cot full there. I'm gonna finish off taking these vines down later on to just get this one out of here. All right, so I'm glad I ended up covering up these blackberries over here so that um, we could enjoy some of them because, you know, the birds are so greedy. They don't leave you nothing. Right here. Got a lot of blackberries. All right, there's still a whole bunch of red ones up there. They'll be, got to wait on those there, right? To get nice and plump like this one right here. Hey, you want to taste this one, doctor? Oh, I'm good right now. Oh, more for me, baby. All right. So these are the only ones that are really ripe right now because a few days ago, I took off a lot from here, so it's still producing really, really, really good. There's still a lot of berries on here to be harvested. I'm going to have to um, straighten out that uh, this uh, bird netting here to bring it over a little bit more, because if not, I won't get none of these birds to eat them all up. Robins and blue jays, they all just sit up here on the top here, 
and just feast all day on them. All right, so you all take care. Much love from the Bulls Garden and Dr. Ricky. All right, now as you can see, those little uh, those little pumpkins right there, they did not get a chance to mature because the vine borers uh, got into the vine there and um, it just killed the plant. So they, they turned orange a little. I'm gonna use these guys here as some type of decoration on something uh, just so that, uh, you know, they can serve some type of purpose. All right, so. Nothing uh, gets wasted in the bulls garden. That's right, man. We got to, everything that we grow, you have to either eat it or use it somehow. So, all right, y'all take care. Peace. Peace. All right, so that's quite a few. It's very, very heavy. Uh, it's quite a few um, buttercup squash. So every couple of days or so, I can take one and use it up. These guys right here, I love so much that uh, I can't share these. I can't share these. These are all for the bull.